So this is going to be a Arison Moon and as well a Rising Weekly General Tarot Reading uh, January 26th to February 2nd, uh, 2020. Oops. Alright, so yeah, 2020, and um, in case uh, you guys want to get in touch with me for a personal reading, uh, you can check out the description down below, and uh, there you're going to find a, a link to my website. So that being said, due to the uh, previous weekly uh, response from you guys, I'm not going to use Pride once again, this is going to be a reading in string and what that means is that I'm going to draw seven cards, no position whatsoever, whatever the card shows, that's it. And um, it doesn't get any general than that. So the first card for you Aries, uh, which we do have for the start of the week is going to be Tree of Swords and obviously you do have some things to cope with here with the Tree of Swords. Now on its own the Tree of Swords uh, is often related to some sort of a, a very uh, bad thoughts that one may have, especially if one went through a rather disappointing and poignant event recently or has a very bitter taste from a past event that are uh, that has a not tendency that they don't have tendency but they tend to repeat themselves or it seems like something similar is going to happen just around the corner here and uh, therefore one may go uh, into a state believing into the doom and gloom, uh, not being capable to finish their job, not being uh, worthy for a certain relationship and so on and so forth. So the Tree of Swords, I want to explain you the card because people are kind of like freaking out when they see it. Uh, we do have three swords, swords piercing the heart. Now swords are a, a symbol of thoughts, okay? And what that means it is that your thoughts are piercing your car, your heart. Therefore, probably at the start of the week, your mind will be swarmed by negative thoughts. And of course, if you allow them to twist and tangle through it, well, everybody, um, if it was at your shoes, I uh, would have been fe feeling lost. Now with the Tree of Swords, it's very important not to deny one's pain and not to kind of like try to neglect it, but to live through it. So you can feel fully liberate yourself from it. Now those negative thoughts as well could be provoked from mental cruelty. There are people who are asking me what that means. You know, what is mental cruelty? When you have been insulted and when you have been um, spoken in a such a way to undermine your uh, self-esteem, self-confidence, um, and etc, etc. For example, someone tells you that you are ugly, uh, that you are worth, uh, that you are standing for nothing, that you are not worth anything, and so on and so forth. That is a mental cruelty. So you can experience those things at the start of the week. Very important is not to dwell into it. Just, you know, let it go and move on forward uh, with your life. On the flip side, Tree of Swords is a very positive card when one is with its back against the wall, meaning that the tougher the situation is, the better you are to perform. Um, the next one here is going to be the uh, Knight of Swords. So that's an, an individual, pretty tenacious one. Knights of Swords, they're usually known by um, having, uh, it's not like a blindfold, but it is like a, a focusing on one particular thing and nothing else matter for them. They are with a very sharp mind and as well intellectual uh, abilities that is to judge, if you will, and to once again to focus on one particular goal and one particular thing. Now, the thing with the Knights of Swords it is that whatever decision they take, it is always consulted with their emotions. So this is how you can, uh, let's say, alter their path moving on forward by one or another way playing with their emotions. I don't know how to say it here, but if that is about a career, for example, uh, with this person, if you have a similar goal here, uh, then obviously he is going to contribute a, a great deal for that goal. Probably there is an accident outside. 
Anyway, so if that's about relationship, well, it all comes to that, you know, how big impression, emotional, emotional imprint you have left within their soul. And so if they love you truly, well, then they are going to decide in favor of you no matter what. If they don't, well, then the decision is going to be obvious. Now, the other card here is going to be the Six of Wands. And it's kind of like a contradictive, many things. So it's, uh, it does look like that this week is going to be like a roller coaster for you guys. Ups and downs here and there. So the Six of Wands on its own accord, it does represent reaching a, a very important milestones, triumphs and victories. And not just only that, but being as well recognized for them and also receiving the rewards. For one's labor, it could be also interpreted that a, a helping hand comes around, someone comes to help you. But the very least, amongst you know the um, negative thoughts that you may have at the start of the week, I do believe having this card that you are going to shake yourself very very quickly. You are going to be brought on your feet once again in a matter of a day or two, and from there, it doesn't look like that there will be anything stopping you. So it's like um at the start of the week where you're going to have an avalanche of, of negativity, let's say, um, shoot into your way and you are going to overcome it very quickly. And from there, it does look like that your path have been cleared. Uh, the Six of Wands, it is the card pointing that you are going to have a, a, a peak of experiences. And judging by the position third card, it should come around at the mid of uh, the week. If I have to predict somewhere at the end of um, Tuesday, maybe Wednesday as well. <clears throat> now, important thing with the Six of Wands, however, it is that not to take it like uh, uh, this is the maximum you can go for. There is definitely what can be desired more from the situation, from your job, for example, and from your career. And therefore, you have to accept it once again as a milestone, not, not as a uh, um, endeavor completed. And from there, just keep on improving on it. Uh, the next one, which is the fourth card here, is going to be the Moon card. So with the Moon card, we do have some sort of a uh, uh, very unpredictable, not kind of an event, but circumstances are going to start happening around you. You may start feeling a, a bit insecure with your actions moving forward, with your words, what kind of decisions you need to make as well, and etc, etc. And again, we are leaning into the milestone. Not everything has been finished right now, and the end goal is far from being reached. And the after the stepping stone you have reached, the next circumstances are forming and that card kind of tells me that it is highly unlikely that you will be able to keep up with not to keep up but to maintain that is the inertia and the pace that you're going to have with the six of wands so what we do have here for the week is a baiting of your thing going through a down then you do have an exponential up here with the uh, peak of experiences, triumphs, you know, and rewards that you're going to get from that. And then you're kind of like falling into some sort of a limbo, kind of asking yourself, well, what really happens next? You know, where, where I'm going, where I'm supposed to go toward after that. Important thing with the moon card, it is that first, whatever goal you have, in the long term, that is, you should not deviate from that path, no matter how hopeless or helpless it looks like at that particular moment. And don't fall into panic. If, you, if you're not sure what kind of an actions you need to take or what kind of decisions you need to make, then don't do anything. That is because the circumstances have not been developed enough so you can make up your mind or you can do something decisive to move forward with, uh, with your things here with the moon card. As well, the moon card may signify that there will be some sort of a, uh, not dramas, but how, how do you say it? When someone speak against someone's back, like rumors spreading around. So don't give yourself to the rumors as well. Now, the next one, which is the uh, fifth card here, is going to be the Magician. And that card is a very positive in this follow-up, pointing that after the moon takes place, takes place, you're going to quickly start realizing your true and unfound potential up until this moment. That is going to help you regain your personal sovereignty, determination, and as well, it does look like that you're going to put your communicational skills into the matter, and that is going to produce phenomenal results here, guys. But above everything else, with the Magician card, it is that you will not have to be anybody else anymore, all right? You, you don't have to pretend 
that you are someone different than what you truly are and the good thing about it is that people are gonna like are going to like you exactly exactly for who you are and that card points that you are going to win a, a lot of uh, followers on your behalf now important thing with magician it is that um, if you lack certain resources, definitely throughout this week, at the middle of this week to the end of the week, you can find a way to attract those resources. But um, it's important, the determinations are important with the magician. So when you want something, if your determinations are not strong enough, then simply don't bother moving into um into that direction and uh, finally it does look like that when the magician takes place for you Aries you are going to be able to lift yourself above the situation and kind of see those minor details which were worrying you up until this moment when the moon was taking place that you were not exactly sure how the things is going to develop how it's going to play out so on and so forth well now you are going to know very very soon after a the moon card takes place so we do have another after the six of wands we do have another down and after that we do have another up just like i said at the start we do have a roller coaster week for you full of ups and downs and for now it does look like that the ups are gonna be much higher than than i the downs are gonna plummet you so at the end of the day it does look like that you're gonna finish at a evaluated state and uh, the next one which is the six card here at that is going to be the Tree of Pentacles. Now, Tree of Pentacles points, and that should take place around the end of the week here. Tree of Pentacles points that at that time, you're gonna have a support that will help you through your development or to push your development through. The Tree of Pentacles is all about cooperation and everybody, it's kind of like operating in their field of expertise, all right? And nobody messes with anybody's business, uh, but however, together, all of you are kind of like forming a, a very well synchronized mechanism or very well synchronized machine that can a, achieve a great stuff. So that card kind of points that at the end of the week, most likely you are going to be involved in some sort of a cooperative work, teamwork that is a, a vast project, for example, or a, a large social circle that will help you grow uh, in any way possible. Now, important thing with the Tree of Pentacles, however, is that whenever um, someone engages into a, a conversation to listen to that conversation uh, it is uh, very common with the tree of pentacles that you may receive some critiques that it is related to the tree of swords here okay and uh, i suggest you looking at that card to take on these critiques and uh, to kind of build up from there because uh, the this criticism that you're going to get from those conversations is actually a constructive criticism and you can learn a, a great deal from it but from the tree of pentacles guys uh, this card forms like an oceans of opportunities from the people that you are cooperating with people that are supporting you as well and if you have been feeling stuck until up until this moment i cannot say that you are going to stir once again but you are definitely have many options available how to stir from now on and the final card it is the knight of cups and that is um, a person that comes around up at the end of the week now everybody knows that the cups are about love and that's the thing with this uh, with this archetype it is the day always follows the feelings of their heart and for some reason their feelings and the dreams as well their feelings and dreams are related to you in one or another way. What is the pros with uh, the uh, Knights of Cups? Well, they kind of don't trust much the universe. What I mean is that if they want something, they kind of do something about it instead of waiting that to be gifted to them. This Knight does not depend on pure luck. They depend only on results that are achieved through a, a personal performance. On the flip side, the consequent, the cons from the Knights of uh, Cups it is that they are kind of like a uh, um, 
they are exaggerating a lot and it is not like they don't mean what they are saying it is just they don't know they don't know how they're going to achieve it okay uh, just to give you an example of it uh, someone in, uh, approaches you by the end of the week with romantic interest and they are telling you that they love you which is going to be true with that uh, with that card they are telling you that they are going to for example i don't know bring you the world into your knees and they really mean it. It's just the problem is they don't know how to do it. That so don't kind of like build up your hopes based on what someone tells you that seems emotionally attached to you, but just be objective because otherwise you're gonna face a, for better or worse, a certain a, a disappointment to a certain extent. So uh, once again, Aries, a quite of a dynamic dynamic week for you guys, dappled with ups and downs, and be prepared for the start of the week to face some very unpleasant thoughts, truths, and as well, how can I say it, or if you will, circumstances that are going to cut you off guard and are going to place your uh, back against the wall. But from there, it does look like that you're a rise above and rebirth, if you will, as a phoenix. So yeah, that being said, this was your weekly general tarot reading. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other uh, next time. Until then, bye.